welcome back to the Death Ray Cat channel. Um, this is a place where I can show you loads of guitar bits. I've had loads of requests for the Cramps recently, especially Mad Daddy. There's a lad called Colin Cramp who wants to know the solo. I'll get to that later on, but I'm going to show you this song. It's pretty simple. You need three chords, A, E and B. There's some other stuff as well, but that's the starting point. So I've been listening to the album version of Songs of the Lord Taught Us, the 1980 album. There's two guitars playing on there, no bass. I've also been checking out the live version from 2006 at Locaressi in Belgium. And Poison Ivy's playing something slightly different there, but I'll talk about that later. Let's go through the chords you're going to need. You're going to need an E and an A and a B. You can play it a few different ways. You can play like a power chord. You can play... Use your third finger flattened. Or you can use middle, third and little finger. I'll probably, I'll probably go for something like that. So there you go, if you don't know those chords, check those out. And we're going to start off with the intro, which is just the E chord. It's as simple as that. Listen for the timing, I think it plays it for about four bars. Then for the start of the verse, we're staying in E playing that E just once and leaving space for the vocals so and there's also a little kind of trick we're going to play the open strings before we play the chord and it's kind of suggesting a G chord but it just sounds cool like that so your intro and your verse are going to sound like this. We go into the next part of the verse when we go to the A. So you're just playing your A chord, but we're doing a little E before that. Goes to the A again. So it's almost like a 12 bar blues because we're going to the B after that. So yeah, it's like a 12 bar blues, but we're going up to the A twice. Listen to it. I'll tab out the um, the order there. That's fairly simple. Uh, on the recording, on the album recording, you've got two guitars. First guitar is playing those chords. The second one is doing a bass line, I guess. So instead of playing the chords, we've got this. So instead of playing the A chord, I'm going to replace that with this lick starting on A. When it goes back down to the E, we're going to play the same thing but starting on the E string. Goes back to the A. And to E. Then instead of going to the second fret on the B, we go in the second fret on the E string, playing the F sharp. Da 
then the open E. When it gets to the let's rock bit, we do play like a 12 bar, so it's the standard 12 bar. We've got the E. The second guitar is going up high, and we're using this little shape here. which is just the top part of the E chord but we're playing it up here 12, 12 and 13 and we're going to see this shape a lot in this tune so if you can get that you can get the rest of it pretty much so we're simply playing the same chords but up higher so for the E you've got this For A, we're doing it on the 5th fret, 5, 5 and 6th. Back to E. For the B we go to the 7th fret. Then back to the A. And then back to E eventually. In the live version, so Poison Ivy's doing a bit of a Link Ray trick, she's just playing it double time. She's also adding some chromatic sort of slide ups as well. All that is, she's just moving back one fret and then into the chord. And that can be used anywhere. Uh, when we get to the B, kind of filling in that space between the notes. Cool. Right, we're on to the solo now, so I'll start off with the album version. She plays it pretty similar on the live version, almost identical. I think there's just a bar or two where she's changed it a little bit. Um, but we'll start off at the beginning, and it's pretty simple. We're using that shape I just showed you, starting on the E, 12th fret and 13. So, in both versions, we're going to start off with that. Dead easy, and I'm 100% sure that's the right uh, shape because you can see Poison Ivy doing that on the live version. You could play the whole chord if you wanted, but those three strings, that's all we need. Yeah, so we're going to, we're going to take that shape, move it back one fret, and then back where you started. So you've got that. And then we'll do the same two frets lower. So you've got your 10th, 10th and 11th fret there. Making a D chord. And you come back one fret and back to yourself. Next you go to the 7th fret, 7th, 7th and 8th. Do the same thing, go back one fret. And back to yourself. Uh, 
and then she does this little run starting on the third fret using both strings so third fret on the E and B strings do like a descending pattern there so starting on the third fret second first and then open I think that's your next little line starting off with second fret on your G string two hits there open G two hits on your second fret on the D string back to your G and then she's playing the full A chord play the full A chord take it off put it back on so all together you've got this little pattern then we head to the E chord in the live version she's adding the little finger on the It's hard to make out what's happening in the recorded version. Um, the next bit, this is where it's different on the live version, it goes to the B. On the live version she'll go up to the 7th fret, doing that same pattern, doing that same pattern, the two strings, 7th fret on the top E and B strings, and then descending there. And that'll go back to the E. On the album there's like a pentatonic run, a bit of noodling. Something like that. Back to the E. So yeah, that's the only real difference in the solos that I can make out. version Poison Ivy's playing the chords a little differently as well instead of just hammering out the E chord like that she's adding that seventh note there so she's playing it more like this same with the A That's just something you can do to change it up a bit, add a bit of flavour. That's a song, there's two different versions. There's two guitar parts on one of them, so you've got different options of if you want to keep it simple or try and make it a bit more interesting. The live version is really good. Um, I'm going to have the PDF for this on my Patreon account. You can see it on the screen as we're playing as well, but if you want to download the Patreon, come and sign up. Uh, I've got loads of other videos on there. I'm doing something every week. Check out my website below. If you've enjoyed this and you want to suggest something or request, stick me a message in the comments and subscribe as well. That'll help me out and I'll see you later. Cheers.